All right, so where I am now is I am uh, sewing this on here, and I've kind of found a, a rhythm to make it a little bit easier. Because so, it's such a, so difficult to sew through fur without it getting caught up in the thread. If you're able to sandwich it like this, then it's able to come through. See, even then it comes through, it pulls through little fibers of fur. So we don't want that. So we're trying to keep it all separate. Yeah, see if I didn't, if you don't pull it tight enough, sometimes it gets fuzzy, comes out. That's what I was talking about. Grab hair and it'll pull it all through there. That's when you have to open it back up and kind of see if you can fluff it back out. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Yeah, see, I don't know if that's going to be enough. I'm thinking I should have done it more. What do you think? Looks like it's awful loose. Looks like it's going to come out okay, though. Boy, I don't know. It's going to be sketchy. Maybe when I go back through on the second pass maybe it'll tighten it up almost went the wrong way there All right, so there we have it sewn across, and I think it looks pretty good with the dark lining, don't you? So now that I don't have enough to go across, because I had figured maybe just going two and a half times the length would give me enough, but it chewed up a lot of a lot of line going through them holes now. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can. Uh, Secure this end somehow. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm actually gonna go through and see if I can sew back, and I'll probably get halfway, and then I'll have to add in another piece of line. 
because I don't want to break the continuity of what I got going on here. So as you can see, I'm I have this here, and I'm just pressing down on my cutting board to uh, push it through because well that's going through with four pieces of hide and some fur. So you're going to have to have a pair of pliers handy to be able to pull it through and make it tight where it looks okay. You want to make sure it's nice and and firm. Once again you don't want to pull it too tight but you do not want it to be too loose. This will form into a solid line of leather right there like a really tight roll of jelly. Always want to make sure you try to get the the right angle on here because it's once it's already set up like this boy it's hard to change them holes around so you want to be able to get it to where it pulls right through just like that one. Keep trying because you know it's there. There's already one piece of line going through that it tells you it made it. So if you can follow that wherever you need to, as long as you get it poking through, you know it's there. Keep it nice and tight. You want to make sure that this is straight here, not all zigzaggy like this here. That's what we're trying to do, is we're trying to correct all that zigzag from all that tightness and pulling this back and forth and getting it right. You know? So we're trying to uh, straighten all that stuff up. Yep, well, there is no other way to get that through there without a little a little push in that direction there. 